Assalamu alaikum grade 2. How are you? I hope you're happy and safe. Today we are going to start with a new chapter. A very interesting chapter. Its name is Data Analysis. So, through this chapter, we are going to learn how to collect and analyze data. Let's start with the first lesson. Lesson number one. Take a survey. Through this lesson, we are going to learn how to take a survey. What's the meaning of survey? Sometimes we need to ask people some questions and we need to collect their responses or their answers. This is called a survey. Take a survey is to ask people questions and to collect their answers. Let's start with the first one. To take a survey, we need this tally chart. It's called a tally chart. What is it, grade 2? Tally chart. It's a very interesting strategy to collect data. Let's see how can we use a tally chart. We have an activity. Ask 10 classmates to name their favorite fruit. We have many choices. Apple, orange, or grape. Mark a tally for each choice. Mark a tally for each choice means if someone tells you that the favorite fruit for him or her is apple, so you will draw a tally. This is called a tally. Another one, like apple, another tally. Each tally represents one person who prefer apples to orange and grape. If someone prefer grape, you will draw a tally for grape. If someone prefer orange, you will draw a tally for orange. Or another one, another one, another one. If there are five persons or classmates prefer orange to apple and grape, so we will draw the fifth tally like this. So this is a group of five. One, two, three, four, and five. The same for grab. If there are five or six, let's say, if there are six persons or classmates prefer grab to orange and apple. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. When we use tally marks, we will make a group of five tallies, just like this. If there are thirty people prefer something, let's say one, two, this is for thirteen. If there are thirty persons prefer something, so one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. 11, 12, 13. So, we will draw 13 tallies this way. And we will write the total number here. This is base. Now, to apply this activity, since we are not in the class, you can ask your family to name their favorite fruit. Let's suppose that the favorite fruit for Ahmed is apple. For Adam, it's a grape. For Adam, it's apple again. For Ashraf, it's orange. For Amir, it's a grape. For Jude, it's orange. For Dana, it's orange again. For Alia, it's orange again. For Omar, it's orange again. And for Lana, it's apple. So there are three persons prefer apple three persons and there are five persons prefer orange so five and there are two persons prefer grab so two this is the sum of ten three plus five is eight eight plus two is ten so interesting so when you take a survey you ask a question and use telemarks to record the answers or data. And data is information. 
Let's try another one. Taking a survey about box. Write a question. Like, what's your favorite type of box? And then ask your question for people. Record each person's answer with a tally mark, like this. We have three types of book. Scary, funny, and sports. There are only two persons like scary books. So, one and two, and the total is two persons. But there are many people like funny books. Five, we don't have to count these tallies since we know this is a group of five. So, five, six, seven, and eight. So, there are eight persons like funny books. Let's see the last type. Sports. Five. A group of five. So, simply there are five persons like sports book. So, interesting. Let's try another one. Try this with your family grade two. Ask ten members of your family their favorite season. There are four different seasons. You know, winter, spring, summer, and fall. Use tally marks to record the data. Draw a tally mark for each person in one of these spaces. And then use the data in the chart to answer the questions. What season do students or your family members like best? And how many students like winter and fall? Write a number sentence to solve. Try it by yourself a great too. It's really interesting. The same for this activity. Ask 10 members of your family their favorite picnic food. Use tally marks to record the data. Hamburger, hot dog, or chicken. And then use data in the chart to answer the questions. How many members like hamburgers? How many members like hot dogs? And what is the favorite picnic food? What is the least favorite picnic food? How would the chart change if you added your favorite food? So interesting. Taking a survey help us to answer all these questions. Now let's solve the question number 8, page number 532. Clary took a survey of favorite snacks. She marked 6 tallies for vegetables, or tallies for nuts, and eight tallies for fruit. How many friends did she survey? It's so easy, right grade 2? We just have to add these numbers. 6 plus 4 equals 10, plus 8 equals 18. So, 18 friends. Now, let's solve the question number 9. Students took a survey for Fun Friday activities. So good! 7 students want a picnic. 5 students five students want to go to the zoo. 8 students want to watch a movie. Which chart shows these results? Circle the correct chart. Let's see. Seven students want a picnic. This is the picnic. There are five and six here. But according to the question, there are seven students. So let's see the next chart. Here we have five, six, and seven. So this is the correct chart. Let's check the other. Five students want to go to the zoo. This is the zoo. There are five. That's correct. And Eight students want to watch a movie. This is the movie. Yes, five, six, seven, and eight. So this is correct. So we will circle this chart. It shows these results. How many students were surveyed? How can we know that? Yes, we just have to add the students prefer picnic, zoo, and movies. So we have seven students want a picnic, 
plus five students want to go to zoo, plus eight students want to watch a movie. So seven plus five equals 12, and 12 plus eight equals 20. So 20 students in all. Question number 10. Why do you think the fifth tiny mark is shown at a slant? Just like this one. If we have one, two, three, four, and the fifth tiny mark is shown as a slant. Why do you think that grade two? Yes, of course, because tiny marks are easier to count if they are grouped in fives. The next two pages are your homework grade two, so please try to solve them by yourself. They are so interesting. That's enough for today, grade two. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.